Uh, not much so far, except I started Nathan for you. Oh. And starting <laughs> back in time, starting that at is... the beginning. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. I mean, every show has to set itself off with a premise, right? You have a pilot. You got to get that idea out there, yeah. establish what the f- is going to be. Sometimes it confuses everybody like Black Mirror. Um, yeah. You know, sometimes you go for the tone way more than for what your your actual setup will be like when it happens. Yeah. And then you get here where the opening bit of Nathan for you. I don't know if you remember what season one, episode one was. I don't remember which is which now. It was, uh, hey, we need to get people uh, coming over to our frozen yogurt shop. Uh, oh, why don't we do sh- the poop flavor? Oh, yeah. Straight up. That's the first one. It's, and like, it's something wild about sitting there and, and putting forth the dumbest thing you could think of with the straightest face and like making a real case argument for it. And like you're like, okay, that's gross and disgusting. And, you know, I'm sure this, you know, shop owner will uh, properly uh, just cringe and be like, I guess if it's on camera, whatever. But then they cut to the. Uh, it, like within seconds, they're like, "Here's the people we've gotten to taste test, actually, who might uh, who might have who have nothing to do with the bit at all, you know." No, and, they're just unsuspecting and, victims. And yeah, watch having watched, I guess, like maybe three, four episodes so far. Um, Nathan, for you, like the, the 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 two takeaways that are probably the worst is one, um, the business involved always is probably going whatever the f- this is at least we're going to be on tv so we're gonna it's be probably on TV. worth it gonna right? be on tv no matter what no matter how awful this gets it were this is advertising in one way shape or form you know um that zoo with the with the sheep with the viral video for me the one that you know? got me is like you have to go in through the tiny door in a tux and then get past an alligator to get a free tv okay i didn't even see that one yet oh man that's know? the one so, for me but it's as th- stupid as it sounds there's that there's the idea of just okay we'll take however bad this goes because at the end of it the airing of how bad it went will still be on tv and yeah. then two um Sometimes it appears as if it's not going that poorly. Sometimes yeah. things are going actually fine. They're and, okay-ish. And it feels as if Nathan makes an audible. He makes an executive decision to go, this is going too smoothly. We need to f*** it up. Worse. And, yeah, and we need, to, we need to introduce variables to, like, annihilate how smoothly this is going. And just we'll, we'll call in at the last second the... the, the the, 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 it's not cringy enough double down triple down on the cringe it's it's very much the the if if eric andre is heads then nathan sure. fielder is tails sure sure like you know eric will get in your face and throw a dead fish at you and then get in a circle of his friends and scream the word nightmare at you for 10 minutes and that's terrifying but nathan will just very calmly ruin your fucking restaurant with increasingly calm, placid, timid ideas in the most like disarming, harmless way possible. Now, and the thing is, I, I'm not sure what year this started. Obviously, it was a while ago. But um, I think what's important, too, is like he kind of establishes because the way he's delivering these really stupid ideas in a really deadpan way, you're like... You, you're like, okay, I kind of know what this is. He's the oblivious idiot. And when you point mm-hmm. out the obvious, he'll just deadpan it and not respond. He'll sandbag everything. Um, and you'll be like, like he'll like, oh, is he going to Steve Carell the kind of his way through this? Yeah. Or so? And like at first he does, but then he absolutely doesn't and then stops and just starts fighting back. And like he's they like he's like, we consulted a marketing guy and the marketing guy's like, yeah, this is a fucking stupid idea. You're an idiot. And he's like, uh, well, fuck you. How about that? And, and like and yeah, but it's like really gets combative fighting back. Yeah, it's like absolutely. the fighting back of a child. But he he's absolutely willing to just like go all in on uh, um, defending the bullshit. And then, of course, at the end, when it becomes a mess, he's like, I've, de- I've, I acknowledge it's a mess. Time for me to leave, you know? 
So, uh, yeah, no, I, 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 I like what I see so far. That's some good, um, uh, uh, free range cringe, you know, Mm, um, grass fed. So, uh, we'll see, we'll see where this goes. Um, and I'm, I'm also, um, tempted to just also simultaneously possible, possibly just start the, um, the, the, the rehearsal just to see where that goes and what's going on. But, um, it's we've had like you know the prank show has like a wide history right mm-hmm. and you get all the way from like just for laughs the canadian one where it's like silly little jokes Gags. like oh the policeman has no pants yeah 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 right but yeah. like you go out east like what's 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 your prank okay you fell into a tr- through a trap door in an elevator you thought was real into a pit of snakes all right that's that's heavy right that's that's primal that we're just going straight to the adrenal gland on that yeah, now we're all the way out at Nathan for you, where the prank show is. I'm gonna sit in an office and tell you, like, how to ruin your business and somehow convince you to go along with it, and then you're gonna do it. And yeah, you're just gonna stand there and be embarrassed. Well, look, we've already. You're familiar with scare tactics. Yes, we've, we've talked about scare tactics. It's gone as far as it can go. You know, without like crossing that lawsuit territory which yeah we locked a man in a, in a we locked a man in an uh, in a building and made him uh live off of coupon codes like there's only so far you can go on that on that we attacked you alone in a parking garage on your way to your car um while you had no idea what was going on and it'll just you remember a, that? a bunch of clowns Came yeah, you remember the chainsaw clown? Do you remember front, him? A, a bunch of clowns came out to a, to murder you l- late at night in a parking garage. Um, do, do you remember? Do you are you familiar with Chainsaw Clown? He was the guy who would dress up like a clown and chase after people with a fake chainsaw. Yeah, I, I, I think. I, yeah, I, mean, I think that I, I recall seeing episodes of that. Or, or if I remember or, correctly, he stopped because people pulled out a gun and shot at him. Okay, well there you go. Yeah, so scare tactics, scare you know, tactics, just a prank, bro. You know, so. <laughs> Obviously, uh, yeah, you, you, just a prank, bro. Uh, you know, the 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 Twitter or uh, YouTube era of that also took it to another level entirely. Um, you know, prank in the hood, are you? Yeah, really? Yeah. Oh, it's funny. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, yeah. Where where'd that series go? Hmm. <laughs> Seems like there was it one episode. Nowhere. It's where it fucking went. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, so you have to kind of you have to swerve to a different direction and and uh uh s- swerving towards the business that's looking for attention that needs help um bar rescue style is that's a certain that's a place to go you know and you know at the what? end of the day again like there is that like well i'm sure that ice cream i'm sure that ice cream shop is doing better than it was before comedy central aired that yeah i'm sure it was you know you meant like I feel like Jackass, like the Jackass boys, are like the perfect encapsulation of like that trend. Cause, like, I, wa- I remember vividly watching Jackass three, and they put Johnny in the in the in the ring with the bull, and I'm pretty sure it's the first time he's ever done a really dangerous prank sober, mm. and he really doesn't like it, mm. and he's just he's really just like scared, and I don't want I don't want to do this. And I, then the bull hits him and he's not laughing. He's just like, oh, the bull hit me. Yeah, I, I don't th- like it. I haven't seen. I haven't seen. I don't think I've seen. I haven't seen three, but uh, I have seen one and two. And uh, I remember oh, it's three, the new one that I'm talking about, too. OK, yeah, because I remember the beanbag gun in one where it was just like, man, like, <laughs> like that was f- like. It's just that's funny, huh? And then you're like, okay, wait, how real is the damage gonna be? Oh, oh, <gasps> that is those marks are like indicative of deep bleeding inside, yeah. deep muscle damage, permanent shit, you know? And you're like, yeah, it's it's mm-hmm. such a great like you watch one, two, three, four, and you get to see like a, the young man's path through life of I can do anything to yeah. I don't want to do this. Yeah, no. And you know, and yet still, I'd probably rather see that than uh, a diarrhea train mountain. You know, Di- but I don't even know what you're talking about. But I'm cool not understanding that. 
uh, there was a train model going around the mountain, like, and it was a volcano. Oh, oh yeah, and that, then, yeah, I and didn't then care it was, for that. Yep, nope, not that. great. And I was watching that with the in-law, actually. Yeah. So oh, mother-in-law was there, and everyone's like, oh, oh watch a jackass. And it's like, kind of forgot. I forgot about that part. I forgot about that part. Yeah. 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 Anyways. Um, <laughs> so uh 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 fun uh, fun fun with nathan for you did bam get caught by the cops yet or is he still on the run bam i heard he's on the run i'm assuming he's not on the run anymore but i'm assuming that because his kid was involved that he probably did because that'd be insane if not um i don't know man you know uh, it, it it feels as if the the Tony Hawk oh, he never turned met, himself. Ah! The Tony Hawk never met Bam timeline might turned have happened anyway. Man. You know, I, I it, fucking hate Bam Margera so goddamn much. Like we talk about the dark path if we if Tony never met Bam, but it feels as if it, it's kind of going down that road regardless. Um, yeah, yeah, it is, and it's rough because Tony's from, doing well. Yeah, as well as you can, you know, g given the nature of of fucking. Just the, the, the injuries and the, the pain and the the recognition and doing mm -hmm. the, the tricks once for once for the last time. Yeah. Um but uh yeah, I feel like the every time I, I hear an update about Bam, it's kinda like um Artie Lang, where it's like everyone that has been around in his friends is kinda like, Man, I don't like we've tried every possible f form of intervention, support. Yeah you know everything we can and it just doesn't seem like anything's really gonna click so every you, single time so you just you're just watching and hoping that you see a parachute get pulled but you don't know what every to do single time point. i pull out my phone and my phone says bam margera on it i go <gasps> and then like i continue to read the sentence and it says anything along the lines of he's that, alive. like is still alive, he's and alive. I go, oh. yeah like like just just like it, it it is a it is like every year or two i have a moment where i just like oh, oh man mm -hmm. not this year it almost happened recently it almost like when he was on the run from the cops my like i had a friend's birthday happened during that and we were like yeah, happy birthday, man. Bam might like fall off a cliff. Woo! But then he didn't. Mm. I think I feel as if like when um Ryan Dunn like died, that kind of like everyone was like super fucking like that was a huge like impact. And then after that, everyone was like, are these guys all going to just start dropping off? You know, no. and they no. didn't. And <sighs> In fact, in some cases, in, in many cases, it seems there is like a moment of like, OK, can we get a little bit healthier? You know, can we get sober and stuff? And like Steve-O, I know, definitely like turned it the fuck around and like has gotten uh, way, way healthier and is, 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 you know, doing much better as well. And so there's like there's that kind of moment where it could have gotten particularly dark, but didn't. So, yeah, there's a bit of a like, OK, that that there was some you know uh, uh uh there was an impact you know that that kind of helped and that's that's nice because yeah man like there's a there's a, a an entire era of fucking mall see, white I kids to, i need to stop you for a second because i see people in the chat going wow pat that's really harsh about bam margera why would you wish that on somebody and then people are going to his wiki page and then coming back and going oh yeah never mind okay <laughs> Damn, my chair uh, fucking sucks so bad. Um, there's a whole lot of uh mall white kids that all filmed their own home version of Jackass that like were looking up to this group and wondering, essentially looking at them as like this is where does the future lead for shopping cart writers, you know? And maybe that's my future. And then like if it all just every one of those shopping carts let off a cliff. Uh, that would yeah. have been horrendous. So yeah. um, it's it's nice to know that yeah, it doesn't Steve have to. like a fucking positive influence now. Steve yeah. is like a, a he's hero. Doing great. He's doing stand up and stuff and he's he's fucking killing it. Um, he, he was like so vegan. His doctor had to be like, nah, Steve, oh, you're a lot. Some of your shit is fucked. You can't be a hardcore vegan. You're you're missing 
you're you're damaged and you you need more nutrients than than what you got going on. Mm-hmm. But he was like he was like sticking to it like perfectly, which is a massive massive leap from old Stevo. Yeah. No, that's uh that's exactly it. So, you know, hoping for the best there.